everyone, it's Jeff again, here for another episode of what I am thinking about this week. As I travel across America, I see an awful lot of cell phone towers, and I have an app on my phone that tells me exactly where they are. Sometimes having an app telling you where they are is extremely handy. Otherwise, you would never know that there's one in the same parking lot where you're at. It can be kind of a fun game, like in this instance, trying to guess whether or whether or not the cell phone tower is the fiberglass rock. The idea for camouflaged cell phone towers first came from Larson Camouflage, the company which rose to prominence building all of the fake rocks, fake mountains, and fake castles at Disneyland. I guess I kind of like the idea of camouflaging cell phone towers and making them look like they blend into the landscape. I'm okay with the concept, and some of them actually look pretty good. Some of them kind of blend in. You would do a double take before you realized that they weren't an actual spruce tree or an actual pine tree. Of course, at other times you wonder why there's an evergreen tree in the middle of Illinois, a hundred miles from any other evergreen tree. Even churches have gotten into the act. I was surprised that that was a cell phone tower. And it's probably a pretty good source of income for these churches to have a cell phone tower hidden in their cross. I am, however, trying to wrap my head around this one. Hello, Dr. Seuss. Can you design a hidden cell phone tower for us, please? No, really, a phallic looking cell phone tower. It'll blend right in. No, really. I'm going to build the coolest treehouse you've ever seen right under that hidden cell phone tower. Cacti. Lots of cacti. In the southwest, the cell phone tower of choice is a cactus. Some of them look pretty good. Some of them would almost fool you. And then there are others that you walk away from and you scratch your head and you say, what on earth were they thinking? Sometimes a fiberglass thing in the middle of the desert with lithium batteries in it, well, you know, it doesn't end well. I leave you now under a plain old, old fashioned cell tower in Wendover, Nevada. Remember everyone, be good to each other, do good deeds, think good thoughts, and I will see you again. Hello and welcome back after watching that interesting video from Jeff. Now normally stuff Jeff talks about is American. And although they were invented in America and Disney had something to do with it, we actually have them over here in the UK. Now, I'm sitting in Glastonbury and I know there's one within three miles of where I'm sitting. I'm just wondering if anybody else has spotted it and knows where it is. If you live around Glastonbury and you know where it is, do drop a comment in the comments below and tell me. I'm going to put a picture up on the Facebook page soon um, to show it. But in the meantime, if you don't live near Glastonbury and you have seen one of these trees and you've got it one near you, get in touch, put it in the comments below, send us a photograph on Facebook. It'd be interesting to see how many of these are out there in the countryside around us. So again, thank you for watching. See you next week and I look forward to hearing your replies. Bye-bye.